a whole new generation come along that had no idea what this word meant. Mm -hmm. This word is mentioned in its varied forms, imagination, imaginations, imagining, two times in the New King James Bible. 35 times in the Bibles that were used for 500 years. It's used four times in the New American Standard Bible. It's used eight times in the New International Version Bible. And eight times the New Revised Standard Version Bible. And almost universally it's used to substitute what otherwise was called thinking. Mm -hmm. But they took the word thinking, which is a distinct word mm -hmm. in the original, and they interpreted it to mean, they took the word used of that was translated imagination and translated thinking. Mm -hmm. And so now there's not a unique body of thought. Mm -hmm. People don't think in terms of a whole wrong way of thinking. There's a way of thinking, just a wrong way of thinking. Mm -hmm. No matter what, how, what direction it goes, no matter what conclusion it arrives at, uh -huh. there's a way of thinking that's just off kilter, period. Yeah, amen. That's what I want to comment, comment on tonight. And it has a, it's a very, very prominent. Now, if you have people that fundamentally have a wrong way of thinking, I sure don't want these people translating my Bible. Amen. That's right. And I'm telling you, some of these people have done it mm -hmm. in the common versions that are popular today. Mm -hmm. There have been people who weren't even Christians. Mm -hmm. yeah. They had a crooked way of thinking. And now I'm going to show in Scripture that God talks about this deviant way of thinking. <clears throat> now, as you might suspect, the Hebrew language, which is probably the most precise of all languages because it was developed by a people cultured by God, <clears throat> has at least nine different words for imagine as, it's, as, it's, as I'm using it tonight. One of them, now I'll refer to these scriptures, one of them has to do with just the idea of a conception, the ability of a, of a person to con conceive something, to come up with an idea, to uh, creative thinking, inventive thinking. Somebody can analyze something, come up with a all right, here's what the scripture, where the scripture uses this, is, is Genesis 8, 21. Sister Annie read, God promised he would no more, not, never again would he curse ground for man's sake or obliterate all flesh. Why not? Because the imagination of man's heart is evil from his youth. Well, what do you mean? See, if you look at just a dic English dictionary definition of imagination, it's the idea like you think of something that's not real. It's not real, but you... Mm -hmm. Well, that is the meaning of it, but that's not the meaning of it here. Yeah. It means man can't think right. Amen. He, he is incapable in view of God and eternity, in view of in that perspective, he's incapable of thinking something that's right. Yeah. He can't. His thinking is skewed off in the wrong direction. It tends. No matter who it is, you can call him Dr. Einstein. Yeah, yeah, right. Or you can call him some druggie. Mm -hmm. They all end up away from God. Yeah. That's how they're thinking. Amen. If you doubt that, all of sin then come short. Why do they come short? Their thinking's in a different direction. Now this is true of all humanity. Us outside of Christ, this is just the way people are. Some of them manage to polish things up a little bit so they look, at least they're civil, you know, they're civil. And I thank God for civil people. They're better than living with people that are brutal and this sort of thing. But see, when it comes to God, God's going to destroy people who don't think like Him. Yes. That's why He said He wouldn't do this anymore. Because people don't think like him. If, if, he, if he continued what he did in the flood, every generation had to be wiped out and start afresh again. That's right. Because people's thinking is in the wrong direction. Another, in Genesis 11, 6, the say, uh, another word for imagine, another root word is given. These root, root words, <coughs> the root is like the river. And the different scriptural applications are like the tributaries that, mm -hmm. that branch off of the river. In Genesis 11, 6, it's re it refers to like making a plan. And here's, you remember the case the Lord said about the Tower of Babel and people there. Behold, the people is one. 
And they, and someone might say, that would be better said the people are one. No, but the people is singular here. He's not, saying, he's not saying a lot of different individuals. He said there's a, there's a sense in which the people are just like one person. Yep, yep. They're all thinking alike. So people is singular here. Uh -huh. The people is one. Mm -hmm. And they have all one language. Mm -hmm. And this they begin to do, and now nothing shall be restrained from them that they imagine. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Cook up something that didn't re wasn't real? Oh, this is very real. They're building a tower. It's a real tower. Uh -huh. They weren't imagining something that wasn't, mm -hmm. but they were. In, they formed a plan yeah. that was vain. So God, yes. of course, interrupted the plan. Another use of the word is found in Deuteronomy 29:21, and this is in the idea of twisted thinking that involves obstinacy. That the person is basically corrupted, so they they think purposely to justify themselves. And this is mentioned in Deuteronomy 29, 19 through 20. It came, to, it, it came to pass when he heareth the words of the curse, that he bless himself, if, he, if it come to pass, that he hears the words of the curse, that he bless himself in his heart, say, I shall have peace. Now this is one of these people with imaginations of evil continually, thoughts. I shall have peace, though I walk in the imagination of my own heart and add drunkenness to my thirst, mm -hmm. the Lord will not spare him. But then the anger of the Lord and his jealousy shall smoke against that man, mm -hmm. <laughs> and the curses that are written in this book shall lie upon him, and the Lord shall blot his name out from under heaven. Why? Why did the Lord say he do that? Because of the way that man thought. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why. Let's go what he did. Yeah. What he yeah. thought. He did what he did because of the way he thought. Yes. See? So that's a, a, a sense of twisted thinking that focuses on self. And I'm going to get what I want because I'm, I'm pretty intelligent. And I can plan, you know, long range planning and all that. God knows that kind of thinking. Another, another root word means uh, to maltreat or imagine wrongly, to intend to do, to, to intend to do the wrong thing, mm -hmm. is the idea. And Job mentions this use of the word Job, to his accusers. Job 6.26, do you imagine to reprove words in the speeches of one that is desperate, which are as wind? He said, you, you, do I really look that? I'm covered with boils here. Huh? Mm -hmm. I've lost all my possessions. I, I've lost all my children. But do you think I'm so weak you can knock me over with your words? That's what he's telling them. Yeah. You think your vain words are going to knock me down? Because your words are your words are the product of your own thinking. Yeah. And man's thinking. You ever notice that as soon as a person starts thinking of themselves, they, their thoughts tend to... Go down. Why? Because because they don't think of God anymore. Yeah. Some of you that have, have had to contend with people that perhaps you love that got headed in the wrong That's direction. Right. You know this already. The thinking got That's right. went back to the natural way. Mm -hmm. Another word means to murmur or meditate <coughs> in anger. If you think in a griping mode, mm -hmm. you might say. Job 21, 27 said, Behold, I know your thoughts and the devices which you wrongfully imagine. Is that word again? You get, you're forming wrong thoughts about me. Yeah. See, God already told you what He thought about Job. He's a perfect man in His generation. Mm -hmm. He loves righteousness, and He eschews or draws back from uh -huh. evil. See, eschew is not like hate, and eschew aren't, aren't synonymous terms. Mm -hmm. I know eschew is like would be classified archaic. Mm -hmm. 